Welcome back, everyone. Have a great test in store for you coming up in the next few weeks. This is sort of a setup to it. We're going to have 17 different products. There will be 18 squares, so 17 and a control. These are all primarily retail based. They're not professional only, and they're all ceramic sprays or some variation of it. And so I'm going to go over what 17 products we have from the cheapest to the most expensive. And these are retail prices, what I paid. I have $550 US invested in this test that I paid for these products. Out of my own pocket, no bias, no other opinions, no sponsors, nothing like that. I'm just reporting what I find and you guys can make the decision on what you want to buy. That's the purpose of these tests. I want to keep it going that way. So diving right in, first we have the Turtle Wax Hybrid Ceramic Wet Wax and it's at the very top. If you can't see this, I'm going to zoom in at the end of the video so you can see more of my spreadsheet here. So I have a hyperlink to each of these that I'm going to click on and show you what the product looks like on the on the website. There we go. Turtle Wax $16 says protection for months. Its primary ingredient is polydimethyl silazane. Most of them are water, polysilazane, alcohol, and some sort of surfactant which bonds it. So looking at the SDS, trying to find it there. Should be at the top here. Let's go back the other way. There we go. Water, polydimethyl silazane, and alcohol. Mostly water, over 90% water. So there we go get into the Turtle Wax Hybrid Ceramic Spray. It is also polydimethyl silazane and isopropyl alcohol. Advertised lasting up to 12 months, $16. So we'll click on the SDS here and see what we've got. A lot of these SDSs were not publicly available. I had to contact the manufacturer to get a hold of them and there's one actually two that did not respond and I'll get into that so California cleaning product disclosure act of 2017 requires that a lot of these companies disclose all of the ingredients that are in them that's everything they don't have to say the amounts they just have to say what is in it turtle wax ice seal and shine twelve dollars on their website and again, the, the prices I have listed are what I paid for either through Amazon or through Walmart or wherever else I bought them. So the SDS, water, polydimethylsilazane, and alcohol. Again, you're going to find that's a, that's a common theme in these. So the Cleaning Act Disclosure California has dipropylene glycol, isopropanol. There's several other ingredients if you want to look at those. Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax Liquid, advertised four to six months. And this is the one that's quite different than, than many of the others. When you look at the, the SDS, it's more, it has paraffin wax. Um, here, we'll get into it here. Where are you? Sorry about that. Here we go. So yeah, iso isoparaffin, it still has polysilazane in it, but the main ingredient there, other than water, is a synthetic paraffin wax. So that's, that's a little different than some of these others. We'll get into Mother's CMX spray, ceramic spray. It's not advertised how long it lasts. On their website, it's for sale for $22. Again, does not say. It just says it has silicon dioxide and titanium dioxide in it. So let's look at the SDS and see if that holds true. It says silicone resin, less than 10%. Octamethyl cyclotetracylazine. <laughs> A lot of these not be able to pronounce. Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Spray Wax 
polyalkylsilazane with silica is the primary ingredient in there other than water. Sorry if you can hear my parrot in the background. She likes to talk when I'm in my office here. So the SDS on that. Where are you? There we go. Oh, nope. Yeah, hold on. So they just say ethyl oxalated C12, C16 alcohols. Jumping to Shine Armor, Fortify Quick Coat, 60 to 100% water. We know it's not 100% water, but it also has alcohol and polyethylene trimethanol ether, less than 8%. I don't know how to pronounce that. Don't know what else it is other than it's basically water, alcohol, and something else. It's advertised as two to three months. This was heavily requested by you guys. That's the only reason I got it. I wasn't going to get it for any other reason. So their SDS, I had to request it, and they did send it to me. They sent it to me within about eight hours, which is fantastic. Some of these other companies took quite a while. Alcohols, there it is primary ingredient. We'll now move on to getting some of the more expensive stuff. Adams 9H UV traceable spray advertises 10 to 12 months. This is not the graphene spray but what I want you to pay attention to when we get to some of these higher end stuff in the SDS, well here we go, uh, 10 to 12 months. In the SDS look at the toxicity of some of these. This is some nasty stuff that you don't want to be breathing so use your respirators anything like that. I don't want that to turn you off uh, on any of these products. Just know what you're putting down. Look at this. Uh, so the, the ingredients here, uh, they're all flammable. You know, uh, four is the highest, but acute toxicity, three, uh, eye damage, one, so that's low. The, the lowest can be zero, the highest is four. So the higher it is, the worse it is for whatever they're talking about there. So Liquid Crystal C2 v V3 by G-Technic. Uh, it's made in the UK. This is the 500 mil. It's uh, $30. It says four to eight months of durability. So we'll get on the SDS. So I couldn't find a US one. This is the closest one I could find, and it is a UK. Uh, it has contacts for Ireland and, and the UK. Amino functional fluid, 15 to 50 percent. That sounds pretty generic. Alcohols has that C, C11, 14, 13, XE oxalated. So it does not say polysilazane as far, as far as the ingredient. So we'll get into the Griots, three in one ceramic. This, uh, I actually bought this from AutoZone, auto parts store here, but it was available at Walmart I believe uh, also so the primary ingredient in that dimethylsilazane so remember I said polymite dimethylsilazane the uh, flammability and irritability these are one and two on here so not not nearly as bad as some of the others Adams 9H graphene graphene gets a lot of slack for being pretty nasty stuff to breathe and you should take that very seriously this product here is advertised over a year. 9H hardness, one plus years or more of protection. So it doesn't say any anything about wear respirators or anything on the on the initial advertising. So here's the SDS. Again, Adams, I had to reach out to them to get the SDS. They did send them to me. I told them what I'm doing. I'm doing a test. So you can see the flammability, the toxicity, you know, anywhere between levels one, two, and three. Here are the chemicals. Acute toxicity four. Look at that. So do not breathe this stuff. Aspiration toxicity. Petroleum distillates. So just be very careful with this not not going to try to scare you off with it car pro reload it's been around a long time it's uh it's probably one of the older ones 
as far as this goes. I believe it's still made in Malaysia. There's one U.S. distributor here in the U.S. for it. Offers up to four months of protection. Click on the SDS here. This SDS, I could not find a U.S.-based one, so this, this one I think is just the Malaysian one. Chemical names, uh, amino alky dimethyl polysilazane, 15 to 20 percent. So it has a higher higher percentage than some of these others, but it also has benzene, trimethyl benzene, uh, solvents. There's a lot of nasty stuff in this, and that's why those of you that have ever used this and smell it, you know, it kind of smells like jet fuel. It it has fragrances in it, like a citrus, their orange oil, but it is extremely strong. So you see acute toxicity four, flammability three. It's a uh, it's nasty stuff. So now we're into next gen. This is uh, another one that came highly requested by you guys. It's thirty four ninety five on their website. This guy advertises that it says thirteen percent SiO two, the strongest layer protection available. Well, we just saw on reload, reload that it has fifteen to twenty five percent of that. So that's a that's misleading right there. Uh, they did not provide an SDS. I asked for one multiple times, never got anything. So we'll move on, move on to the next one here. My internet will work. So this is the last coat, volume two, heavily, heavily requested by you guys. So of course I'm going to put it in there. The uh, the SDS <laughs> reached out to them and they sent it to me, and it's kind of comical <laughs> what they what they sent. It said I'll, I'll show you here in just a second, but it says. Protection guaranteed up to six months. So we dive into the SDS and it's nearly worthless. And you'll see why. Here we go. Trade secret, trade secret, trade secret, trade secret, trade secret. Ethylene glycol, trade secret. So that doesn't really doesn't really help, nor does it really disclose anything about what's in it. Uh, the only thing that I, looking through this, that I found after reading through all of this was, well, yeah, not even any pH or anything provided there. It says it has carbon oxides and silicon, silicon oxides. That's it. So you could say it has SiO2 in it, but they're not disclosing it. So on to Owner's Pride. This is one that several of you guys had requested. Uh, it's made in Omaha, Nebraska, here in the U.S. It's $50.00. It's an SiO2 that says it, it lasts 8 to 12 months. And I had a detailer send this to me because I, at the time that I tried to buy it, they, I either couldn't or something was up. So it was sent in an, in an empty, rinsed out OptiSeal uh, container. So that's what you see in these tests. It's just a, it's a container that says OptiSeal. It's pink in color. It contains isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol and silicone micro emulsion, prepar, uh, which is proprietary. Next, of course, we know F11. Uh, I've talked about this in <laughs> lots of detail. It is essentially 90 plus percent water. The rest is silicone and alcohol. That's it. Um, if you see, I, I have a video that's uploaded that you can see how this this uh, lasts. Uh, of course, it's a rating of 4.9 with 7,000 reviews on their website. They'll tell you that it's great. I'm not going to get into that you know as well as I do what kind of product that is but everybody requests it so it's in there and then last but not least we have IGL Premier it's the most expensive product on this uh, in this test at $67 US you get 500 mil a little goes a long way this is a product that we use in our business it's uh, it, it holds up quite well in, in test at least six months so on to the SDS for IGL Premier. Uh, it's a product made in Malaysia. And it consists of polyoxyethylene alkyl ether and polydimethylsilazane, which again, you see that, that in all of these others. It's just in different, different uh, percentages. And of course they use surfactants, which is what helps bond it to the paint or other ingredients. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up as far as the science behind everything. want you guys to stay tuned. I'm going to be starting this test on the first day of September 2020. All of these products were purchased out of my own pocket with my own money, with the exception of owner's pride because I couldn't get it, so I had someone send me some. Let me know 
if there's anything else you want to see before we start this before we start this test and I thank you guys again for subscribing liking this video and commenting below we will see you soon thanks